Yukio is at an all-time high in popularity due to Master Duel. However, Master Duel is not really a fun format to play in. We have Maxi at 3 for crying out loud. Come on. But all I have to say is that I don't care about that right now. I'm just here playing the deck from down under. Koalas. So a little deep beef on koalas really fast. Koalas are the main archetype that Chun-Li uses in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I believe Chun-Li only has one duel where he duels his father who has alcohol cards but in the dub is re this re Braided as hot sauce. In uh, Cyrus, quotes Chun Li's deck, the deck from down under, because it has koalas and kangaroos. Wow, Sai, really? Yeah, if you join it with one of your koalas, you'll have yourself a deck from down under. But just like most things in Yu Gi Oh! GX, the effects of the koalas aren't that good. We have Death Koala, which inflicts 400 damage to your opponent for each card they have in their hand. I mean, unless they're drawing cards with max E, they're not gonna have enough cards to deal 8,000 damage in one turn. We have the big boy in the extra deck, Koala Koala, which is the fusion between Sea Koala and Tree Otter. Koala Koala's effect is that you can discard one beast from your hand and you can destroy one of your opponent's monster cards. But this card is, it's not once per turn. So if you have a handful of koalas, you could wipe out the entire field. We have big Chungo big boy Koala which is just a normal uh, level 7 normal monster. One of the good effects I think the koalas have is Sea Otter, which Sea Otter has the effect that it can reduce the attack of one of your opponent's monsters down to zero, which you can do some pretty spunky stuff with this if you uh, get the right combo off, but you have to control more than one monster, so it's really, it's a, it's a hit or miss, and it barely mid hits. And of course, the first Omega Chad in the extra deck. You thought it was Avermax? Get out of here. It's not Avermax. It's freaking Master of Oz. With he's dead and tall with armpit hair and he has 4,200 attack points. Dead and tall. And proud. He's the fusion between the big koala and Desk Kangaroo. Desk Kangaroo has a weird effect that I never actually got the off where if it is attacked by a monster that has less defense points than the attack that Death Koala has, that monster is destroyed. And if you have any deck suggestions, please go to twitter.com and do hashtag double bad deck. That's where I look at all your deck suggestions. Do hashtag double bad deck on Twitter. And let's get on to the deck list. Here is the deck list. I'm running three of the big koala, three of the sea koala, because uh, they are the main fusion elements for this car for the cards. I'm running three desk kangaroo. Oh my god! Whoops, this is my bad. I'm running three desk kangaroos. They might be wondering, oh my gosh, why the heck is this guy running cup of ace? Well, I thought it'd be funny if I ran cup of ace, is I can draw two cards, or if they draw two cards and they take eight thousand eight hundred damage. So, it's a hit or miss. Since this is a fusion deck, I do have to run King of the Swamp. I wish I could run the Fright for Engine, but I cannot. I'm running Cocktorn Heavy Metal Avian because it's a life by uh, this card is normal summon. You can send Banish one card and it gets the name of that card. So, if I just have one of these, I could basically fusion summon any of my named um any of my named extra deck monsters that need a name to summon uh fusion deck fusion deployment fusion recycling plant uh spirit forest so my monsters can't be destroyed for one time fusion gate because i'm broke and i can't run three fusion recycling plant polymerization and danger bigfoot all the rest of the cards i don't really need like berserking barely came up wild nature's reliefs sometimes came up but that's the deck list and uh let's get on to the duels well, this is a pretty good duel win you -Gi -Oh. this is a pretty good hand and uh got a few koalas and i'm going against ritual summoning i don't think i can uh, actually do anything good okay so i have a pretty decent hand i think though i'm just gonna set desk koala in pass I don't really have any combos I can pull off. I really just need... See, I just need polymerization. That's the big thing in this deck that's really bad is that uh, you just don't get polymerization early enough or sometimes you don't even draw into polymerization. And that stinks really bad. End turn. Was it not going to attack into my freaking 
What? Come on, that you gotta attack into him. Said super polymerization. I don't know what they're cooking over there, but it doesn't seem good. Not good at all. And whoa, what? Oh, okay, okay, that's it. That, that, that just happened. 2,000 points of damage. Didn't have enough cards in their hand. 600 points. So low. So low. And this is the biggest misplay of my life. I could have won the game. I could have easily won the game. All I had to do was attack, but instead I wanted to get the Death Koala burn damage, and now he's just gonna blue eyes attack, and yeah, he's just gonna do the piercing, what is that, 8,000 points of damage with some um, blue eyes chaos max dragon, because chaos max dragon does double attack based off of his attacking at a defense position monster. It's just, man. Sucks to see. Really sucks to see. Literally, the is attacked into the desk while I win with the game. But GG, I was just being too greedy. GG. On to the next duel. And this is a decent hand versing Hammer today. A uh, Hammer time. <laughs> Armageddon Knight. What is this? 2000 what years this? Anyway, so I don't know, hands okay. Still. No polymerization, activation deployment to summon big koala, said dance koala attack and dark honest? What? What is this? 20? Wait, what year is this? Set dance koala and I don't even know what deck they're playing still. Rege Re Regeki, c come on. What year is this? 2000 randed? Wait, Envoy of Chaos? So they're running a dark. Uh, wait, Black Luster Soldier deck? Well, I, I get that. That's kind of, you know, that's kind of relatable, I guess. Utopia. What? Utopia? This is, I'm so confused what deck this is. It doesn't matter. All I need to do is draw into Polymerization Cup of Ace. Please, Cup of Ace. 0 0.37. And I got the Cup of Ace. Oh my god, draw two cards. Still no Polymerization. Fusion deployment. I'm just gonna get another Death Koala. Mm. Big Koala attack, he's gonna negate the attack. Does it matter? Okay, please. Please, I just need to draw into Polymerization, Gateway up to Chaos. So he is just running, he is running a Black Luster Soldier deck. Okay, that's, that's cool with me. I just need a Polymerization, please. Does, is that hard to honor the ask for? This regular card of Polymerization? Okay, I have Hex Seal, which Hex Seal is basically Poor man's polymerization. This fusion substitute. It's it's an okay card. Master of Oz. I'm going to Master of Oz. Okay, maybe I should have not done that. But it's it's probably fine. It's not really a big deal. He's not gonna have it out to it. Chaos form. Isn't it weird that I'm going into back to back chaos decks? That's kinda that's kinda weird. Blackluster Soldier Super Soldier doesn't even have a freaking special animation. Okay, that that's fine. That doesn't matter. I'm and then now I get, now I get polymerization. I'm going to attack into Utopia. I would have fusion summoned if I knew Utopia's effect destroyed itself when it was summoned. But I, I just, you, you player can't read. I'm at far for a moment. I wasn't reading cards. Uh-oh. So, but now fusion, his turn. I think, I don't think I can win this. I should have fusion summoned into, to, to, I think I might have had a chance to come back if I fusion summoned into another Master of Oz, but Black Blaster Soldier versus Koala isn't the fairest matchup since your abilities are kind of broken. But uh, that's a uh, that's hearsay at this point. Any tax, and then I'm pretty sure they had another effect, right? Yeah, so I would have survived this turn if I just fusion summoned into freaking Master of Oz. GG. GG. On to the next duel. Can I finally win one? And ooh, I have a this card. Did I talk about Raccoon and how no one talks about how it's a pretty good piece of beast support since it can special summon any beast monster from your extra deck? And oh my gosh, I forgot to add a level four synchro for the Doesn't matter. Okay, the, the freaking Legendary Maja, what? Put that kissy running? What the heck? Doesn't matter. 
let's do, let's roll it out. I'm going to summon C Koala to lower that attack to zero. Attack with the raccoon, and then attack for 100 with C Koala. End turn. What are they cooking? Uh, I don't think they're cooking anything good. Mm, you know, Grand Maju. No thanks. You. Okay, uh, you didn't appointment, so now I'm going to summon another. Uh, and I all. Oh, God. I don't have a target. Why didn't I add a target to the deck? I'm so stupid. Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna attack for that 16, 1700 for damage. I don't know why I didn't add a level four synchro to this. Are there any good level four synchros? Comment down below. Just get no, I'm not doing that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Time Lord, Grand Maju, Time and Shuffle. Ooh, <laughs> little spunky there, right there. Oh my gosh. Why does he have a time lord? Why does he have a time lord in this deck? It does not make any sense. I'm gonna fusion summon into this Albaz card, which I added because I had no other cards to add. Uh, I, I guess. Uh, then I'll pitch that card to summon, but you can't even. I can't even. Just, can't even destroy that. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna fusion summon into Desk Hole Big Master of Oz. Now I'm going to end my turn because you can't attack in the time lords. It's not gonna do anything because they can't be destroyed by battle and you're unaffected by card effects. Wow, and it's gonna be shuffled back, shuffled back into the deck, man. One for one, pitching obelisk? What? Vampire? What? 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pitching, he pitched obelisk to summon Relink Karibo. Then to summon Chain Energy. Okay, I don't, I don't understand what this deck is. I, I don't I don't understand it it, it, it it what brain dead moment okay now I'll just activate spirit forest and I did not why didn't I oh I was gonna fusion summon after the battle phase but at this point I know he's gonna steal my monster and I can't discard any beast monsters to destroy the card that to destroy the card that steals my monster so at the end of the day, Master of Oz did defeat someone today. It just wasn't my opponent. Can I please get a win today? Oh, ooh, super polymerization in Juju. Ah, that's the guy's name. Okay, Generator Boss Stage. Isn't that like one of the best field spells because you can generate tokens? Oh my gosh. Okay, what, whatever. Koalas do your thing so he's gonna use i'm just gonna activate polymerization for no reason i think i should have waited that face polymerization to go in the first dragon i have it in my deck for some reason i don't know activate fusion deployment but they they ash my fusion deployment Wait, they should have on fusion deployment cannot be negated come on kodami what are you thinking what are you thinking i'm gonna attack into the token monster does Damage boss stage. Get rid of the. Get rid of the token. Sorry, there was a, there was a koala in my throat. <laughs> okay, I don't. To be honest, I don't know what boss generators do. Okay, and he's XE summoning into the fire and thin generator. Could you imagine if I was playing my Usartic deck right now? They wouldn't be able to activate any of these card effects. But I'm not. They're playing generator, draw a koala, and I have to attach it to their cards. So now. I'm on this time clock where I can't fusion summon and I have to add a card, discard a card from my hand because they keep snatching one. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm watching this with you and I'm 90% sure I'm going to lose. I would, I would bet against and they can't target first dragon. And I should put first dragon in defense position. I'm hopefully I can attack over their uh, boss stage, Leviathan thing, Jordur. But it looks like it's activating its effect again. And hey, now look at that. N n now I can't even attack here with the card stealing my cards. Wow, it's like, it's like a yeah, gab, but, but not worse, but good. Uh, attack over the token. I should have put my card in defense position. What are you thinking past me? What am I, an idiot? Oh my gosh. I have the fusion card in my hand. I just need a, a polymerization 
to fuse so I can go into Master of Oz, I can beat over his Jordurger, and it activates again. He activates it again, he pitched Gamma. It's like a freaking black hole went out. 4,000 damage? Oh my goodness gracious. I had to discard a card from my hand and he gets a special summon a card for because he has boss age of light on the field. Okay, well, uh, I, um, I should, uh, I should have put that in defense position. My bad. That's a, that's a my bad. That's a my bad on my part. There's nothing I can really do. Like, okay, I have rescue cat. I'm just gonna activate rescue cat. And like, I can't even, I can't even do that. I can't even. Man, it's just so, it's just so frustrating. I can't even do that. I gotta pitch a card and I have to discard a card. I'm gonna activate Rescue Cat. Gotta get some plays off. No, called by the grave. Get how old is he? What is this? 2014. <laughs> what is this? Two thousands? Then I can't even activate Rescue Cat, even though I had to target to the deck. It nothing matters. Oh my goodness gracious! I finally put in defense position. But he has infinite impermanence anyway. He's just gonna banish the card finally and GG. GG. Man, so annoying. I, I don't how do I it's not annoying. I damage are kinda cool, but I just didn't win a single do today. What the heck is wrong with me? Koalas are cool, but can you win with them? Well it happened again. But but this time it's worse. This time's worse. So, what I usually do when I go to a streamer's chat is I look, oh, they have a playing with viewers? Oh, I can just stay in the queue for like two hours, three hours, and, and I'll do them eventually. The problem is that is, I like going for casual. I, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively. You know, the more, I, the older I get, the more casual I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, I, koalas are a competitive deck, so hey, I'll, I'll do casual. I'll do casual. Why not? Casual on the title. Do the person. FTK. What? Do you think branded is casual? Sure. Okay. Why, why not? They're, they're, they're learning the game. They're learning the game. Next person. Next person. Wait. Five hours. Get in the room. I do freaking Master of Oz Pass. Or Master of Oz Spirit Spores Pass. Guess what happens next? Freaking Dragon Link! Oh my, Dragon Link! Oh my gosh, you can't, you can't. Dragon Link's not casual. Freaking Dragon Link's a rogue. It's not even rogue. It's top. Oh my, please. And then, you know, I I, I get tired of dueling people at times. Like, I just get beaten the first turn. I had to add. I added uh, the, the Chimera to my deck, so it's semi-competitive. Not not even barely, it's casual competitive. It's not even whatever, I added Chimera to the deck. Please. A Shining Beacon of Hope in the back. Leah. Leah's ban list is like 2,000 cards long. You couldn't... You can't... Even, my, some, even in my Karibo deck, I had to like change some cards out because they just happened to be banned. So... There's no way that Leah, I can do Leah and hey, I'll guess she doesn't play, she hurt her bandless as long. Come on, there's no way that it can be ruined by, oh my god. And they don't know why the game's ruined. They don't know why they feel don't like playing Master Duel. PSA, please, everyone, just play different decks. You should have casual in your title. Just play a fun deck. You know, something cool, you know? Hey, do, do, do you know about UA? U UA is pretty cool. It, it does some funny stuff. Uh, do, do, do you know about Cloudians? Cl Cloudians are pretty funny. Just, I, I, want, I want to play the game. I want to play the game. Anyway. All right, this was a really fun episode. We had a good back and forth there. Dragon versus Worm. That was a cool one. See you guys next week. Okay. Bye. Awesome, right, awesome. Do you want to host or you had an off? Um, oh, wait, are, are you staying on? No, I, I'm 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 sure. Let's I'm, pull uh, up a uh, a random nobody streamer to like a that that's not the right way to say that at all. A small streamer. <laughs> Whoa, dog! <laughs> I just met someone uh, I did not know. <laughs> now I feel like what? I can't host anyone. All right, have a good one. See you later. <laughs> Bye.
<laughs> Sorry, there's 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 uh there's nobody there's no nobody streamers, so gotta head off. That was a fun one. I'll see you guys later. Peace.